Y ahora el presidente de la Federación Europea de Víctimas de la Carretera, Janot Mers. Hola, buenos días, excelencias, llegues. Together we remember, together we hope, and together we are asking for solutions to reduce the number and the severity of road traffic crashes. Today we celebrate the 25th anniversary here in the United States, which I already had yesterday's opportunity to visit. Even under the umbrella, it's nice to go uh, to walk through uh, Barcelona. Uh, and also, I'm very happy to be here now, uh, celebrating with Padapat their 50th anniversary. Uh, congratulations to all of you, what you achieved, and I wish all uh, the members of PAD a good continuation for and with victims and also helping to reduce the dangers on your roads, on your streets, but also helping the Federation in Europe and worldwide uh, to uh, reduce the number of road traffic victims. We could hear from Bridget Shaw Dree, who was an initiator of the World Day of Remembrance, uh, that uh, we already had now 25 years of World Day, and without Bridget, I would probably not stand here, and because probably there would be no remembrance day, at least not as such uh, as we have it today. When we got the Prince Michael Award uh, in 2016 in Brasilia for our work for World Day of Remembrance, I remember that we were told only to stay there for a picture, but when the picture was taken, I told his Royal Highness, Bridget is the mother of the World Day, so we consider her as a mother. Unfortunately, she could not be here with us, that's why we had a video message. And also Marcel Hegi, who was the founder of our Federation in 91, so two years earlier. Marcel, who unfortunately died in 2004, he would be very proud of what we achieved with the help of all of you as we are here today for World Victims and also for the World Day of Remembrance. And I also want to thank SM Krug from the WHO because he was also a big supporter uh, of the World Day and help also that it was recognized by the UN in the resolution in 2006. And we will also uh, hear a message uh, later from uh, I think he cannot be with us nicer. We are also very glad that John Todd, the UN Special Envoy for Road Safety, and FIA President could, despite his overloaded agenda, be here with us. I know he is traveling so much worldwide to help also to get the roads safer. And it's a great honor to have you show among us for the 25th anniversary and the 50th year celebration uh, to be that you are here with us despite your charged agenda. But we also want to thank the police, the ambulances, firefighters, doctors and nurses in hospitals because they also have to deal often with the situations when road crashes are happening. During the decade of action each year we have now a slogan which is related to uh, one of the five pillars of the decade of action last year. It was uh, the 2020 target set by the UN to reduce Fatalities and injuries by 50% in 2020, unfortunately, will not reach this aim, neither in Europe, neither worldwide. So we will hope that in the future we can and have to do more so that we really get the numbers uh, down. And we also included serious injuries because often we heard during the World Day of Remembrance, those who died on the roads and in the streets are remembered. But those who are seriously injured, they are also very important because they have to live a lifelong with the consequences of their injuries and also their families have to deal with this. In 2016, it was a very important pillar. It was related to the fifth pillar of the UN decade uh, of action, uh, which is the post-crash response. And for us victims, I think this was the most important pillar because it's about medical care, it's about investigation and also uh, justice, civil and uh, criminal justice to done with the right uh, standards. <coughs> and this year, of course, as you will road safe stories that's in relation to the second pillar of the UN decade of action for road safety, safe infrastructure and mobility, that's also an important pillar of the safe system approach. In our press release, we spoke about uh, 30 million people who have lost their lives during the last 25 years uh, since uh, World of Remembrance was established. 
and many more who were seriously injured. And this means also that every year, millions of newly injured and brave people from every corner of the world are added to these countless millions who already suffer. The cumulative toll is truly tremendous. So the special remembrance day is therefore intended to respond to the great need of road crash victims for public recognition of their loss and suffering. And today we are therefore sending a message from Barcelona to the whole world where millions of victims commemorate our World Day of Remembrance, feeding the solidarity, solidarity as uh, Yolanda was mentioning, and also hope, as Jean Todt was mentioning. A message of hope and urgent call to all responsible stakeholders, to every road user, please help us to stop this catastrophe. Live with us the Vision Zero, coming as soon, close as possible to zero deaths and to serious injuries on our and on your roads here and everywhere. We have a, a new activity, we call it uh, We Live Vision Zero, and we want to give it to our members who are very active and, of course, during 50 years doing so much for road safety, you deserve it. After Ljubljana last year, uh, we got the first the certificate, it's now your association who gets the second certificate. So thank you for everything we have done for road safety. <laughs> and to finish, I would also like to add a personal note. It's also 25 years that I started to work for road safety and road victims because when someone leaves your home and never comes back to help to support the right of road traffic victims and fight for reducing the dangers in the roads. This is felt like a duty. Many of our friends uh, can feel this. It's like an urgent call from those whose voices can now only be heard by us. And we as survivors have to raise our voices in their names. Even if you never can forget what happened, one has to try to accept what is. Turn the page and be confident about the future. And here I also wanted to thank my wife Maggie, my children and my whole family for the support and understanding that they had before I did in 25 years now.